Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all okay. Welcome back to another football prediction. I'm going to go through uh, the, this weekend's football predictions. Um, my, um, my prediction on the result, and that's not air flying. Um, so, the weekend, obviously, the Premier League's back, and we've got the Carling Cup final. So, go for the Premier League. So, the early, uh, the early Saturday kickoff is West Ham Sunderland. I feel West Ham, West Ham are currently 7th in the league. They've had a good bit of form throughout the year. Uh, Sunderland are 19th. West Ham at home, I feel like Sunderland could be the t one of the teams to be relegated. I feel like two, West Ham... 2-0 comfortable win there. They're playing a good bit of football. They've got a new team. Payet's back. And Renike scoring. I think they've got a good team. So I think I'm going to find that probably a 2-0. It would definitely be a West Ham win. But a 2-0 West Ham. Um, next game is Leicester Norwich. Uh, Leicester had, they've had a week off. Because they've got not that many FA Cup. So Norwich. Norwich are just outside of relegation zone. Because uh, of goal difference. Um, I find Leicester three one. Going for Leicester three one there. Just the fact is Leicester have probably rebuilt themselves, ready for the final push for the um, title. And they've got the quality this season, so I reckon three one um, Leicester there. Let's go to Southampton Chelsea. Southampton's picked up a lot of form from um, Fraser Foster coming back. Kept uh, three or four clean sheets already. Um, it's one point off um, one point off a Man United in fifth, so I find they probably will win. I don't think they could win that game against Chelsea, so I find probably Southampton two one against Chelsea. Chelsea um, in the FA Cup. I know Chelsea are probably coming back from form, but this season's different compared to every other season. Uh, Southampton has picked up form, they dropped form, but I would think they're gonna uh, push for the last um, remaining games of the. The season, so yeah, so I'm going for Southampton win there. And next game, Stoke Villa. Stoke are at home. Villa, I think they're already relegated. Disappointing because I've always been a fan of Villa, but I'm going to probably go for two 0 Stoke. They've, if you, I think if you look up, they um, played a team against the round of 21s their first team, and they lost like two 0 or something. So I think this Villa team is diabolical. The tip players they've got. So yeah, so that's that. Stoke win there. Watford Bournemouth. Um, Watford have been a surprise package also this season. Obviously getting promoted, and um, they're currently ninth in the league. That's not bad for a newly promoted team. So I'm going to go for a Watford and Bournemouth draw. Yeah, one-one draw there. See Bournemouth fifteenth. I find they probably will be safe. There's other teams in the league not doing great. So. Um, I reckon a Bournemouth will draw with Watford. Uh, next game is West Brom Palace. That's the Saturday evening kickoff. I'm gonna go for uh, West Brom Palace. Um, Two-one away win for Palace. Watford. Uh, West Brom ain't been great this season. Uh, Barahin situation. Barahin should be playing because he's a young English talent and. These uh, young English players should be playing. He deserves to be playing. Even though his attitude is not great, you could discipline him other ways. Not just not letting him play. He should be playing. And he West Brom would be a better team. They'll probably go for a 2-1 Palace win there. Uh, Sunday, we've got, um, obviously, the Man United and Arsenal game. That, that, that's the... Um, uh, I've lost the... That's it. Um, Man United and Arsenal's the early kick-off. I'm going to find Man United... Um, not played great. Arsenal are going for the title. As an Arsenal fan, I think it'd probably be a three 0 Arsenal win. Obviously, there's been big score lines, though, um, big score lines between these two of the year. But Man United have not been playing great football. Rooney's out. De Gea possibly might be out. So yeah, I reckon a three 0 Arsenal win there. Um, also at the same time, obviously not on TV, but Tottenham Swansea. As Swansea have been playing quite decent underneath the new manager. Um, top them up there. I'm hoping for a draw, probably 1-1, one, one, but I think Tottenham probably might nick that. So um, I rather think 2-1 Tottenham. And also um, you've got Liverpool, Man City in the Carling Cup. I love Carl, um, the, like the finals at uh, Youth Wembley. Even though it's the Carling Cup, it's not the bigger ones, but it makes it football exciting. Um, 
See, Pellegrini is probably pushing all his team to win the Carling Cup. But Klopp's first year probably want to win it. But I hope Liverpool wins. But I reckon Man City will win because of their quality. They've got company back. Aguero, Yoya Torre is performing. Um, I hope 2-1 Liverpool. But it'll probably be 2-1 Man City. So, yeah, that's my football predictions. I hope you like my football predictions. It's, it's a bit ooh and ah. So, because it's just off of my head. Um, I did one last week, so maybe if you want, I can make this as a regular thing. And yes, yeah, so I've got a new camera. So I've changed it up, try and make the quality better. And yeah, I'll make the quality better, my audio better. Trying to produce more FIFA videos. So uh, if you like um, my football, uh, my football predictions, please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Well, I've got many other videos I've done and yeah you might like it and subscribe and I've got loads more upcoming so yeah see you next time